Well, good morning, everybody. It's me, Mitch, and Happy New Year. It's freezing outside here in Florida, and I know that a lot of you are waking up this morning excited and yet scared to death that you've made a commitment that as of right now, you're going to start your carnivore diet and you had your last hoorah after all that holiday eating, whether it was big cheats or little cheats. Today's the day, my friends, so I am here to help. And I'm going to give you a reminder of my top 10 most important things for you to do on your first 30 days of your carnivore lifestyle or your new carnivore adventure, however you want to think of it. And it is going to be an adventure. Might be the best thing you ever did for yourself in your entire life. I know it was for me. This advice that I'm going to give you now applies to your first 30 days because that's how long it's going to take you to be well on the road to becoming fat adapted. And when your body changes its preferred fuel from sugar to fat, amazing physiological changes happen. Changes that you may think are impossible. Changes in the reduction of your cravings, in the reduction of some of the symptoms of your chronic illnesses, reductions in pain, amazing things. So let's get started. Number one, clean out your kitchen, pantries, and any stashes of carb-containing crap that, and you know where you're hiding this stuff. Just get rid of it. Give it away. Throw it away. If you have other people in your house, family members, roommates, that are always eating this stuff in front of you, it's time to have a talk with them and ask for their help and support. If those things are always within your sight and mind, it's going to make this whole thing, at least for the first couple weeks, 10 times harder on you. This one is important. I put it number one on my list. Without this, all the rest of these tips stand much less of a chance of working. Number two, stock up. Go shopping. I would say buy at least a week's worth of food and buy animal products only. Oh, you could buy paper towels and toilet paper, but don't buy anything that you intend to eat or that can be around to tempt you to eat that isn't an animal product. And that includes eggs, fish, any kind of meat. It includes dairy, but I would almost recommend that you try to give up the dairy for the first 30 days as well, because many people have problems with dairy. But go shopping, buy the food, stock it up. When you open the refrigerator or the freezer, you should see only animal products. Tip number three, start cooking. Always have cooked food ready to eat quickly. Always have some burger patties, some cooked bacon, some cooked fish, some hard-boiled eggs, something that you can grab on one of those instances where you find yourself standing in front of the refrigerator and you don't know why. You probably haven't learned to identify what real hunger is and what you think is hunger, the emotional eating, hasn't gone away yet. So have something ready to eat. Very, very, very important. 
And that leads me to number four, eat whenever you're hungry or you get cravings or you think you're hungry. Eat. You have one job for the first 30 days on the carnivore diet. That is to eat. Eat is your one purpose in life is to stamp that hunger down whenever it happens. It's not a bad, uh, not a bad job eating. So following on the heels of the previous, the previous tip of always have food prepared, eat whenever you're hungry or you get cravings. And that leads me to number five, don't count anything. Don't count calories. Don't count macros. Don't look at the clock. Don't schedule your meals. Don't, for God's sakes, do any fasting. The purpose of the first 30 days is not to lose weight. It is not to fast. It is only, it's only to convert your body from a sugar burning metabolism to a fat burning metabolism. So don't count anything. The next tip, eat enough fat. The good news is that most animal products in their, in their form, meat, eggs, fish, contain the right proportions of fat. So don't buy lean meats. Don't look to white meat, chicken, and pork for your nutrition. Eat the fattiest cuts of meat. Don't hesitate to use the butter. If you cook a hamburger and some fat renders out of it into the pan, pour it back over the hamburger when you put it on your plate. Just make sure you eat enough fat. That's important because that's where your energy is coming from. It's coming from the fat. If you're going to eat meat, the next tip, number seven, is prioritize ruminant meat. And ruminant meat, ruminant animals, are those big red meat animals that have multi-chambered stomachs like cows and sheep and goats. And they're probably the highest in nutrition and some of the easiest foods for the human being to digest. People don't think about that. They think meat is hard to digest. Meat is the easiest to digest food because it's the normal and natural food for us. Don't hesitate to eat red meat. Prioritize it. You can eat chicken, you can eat fish. Fish maybe once a week. Pork. Bacon is good. I know it's pork, but it's very healthy. Eggs are great. But if you're going to eat meat, try to prioritize. Prioritize ruminant meat. And the cheapest way to do that is hamburger. And if you do eat hamburger, make sure it's at least 80-20, if not 70-30% fat to lean. Again, pour the rendered fat back over your, your food before you eat it. The eighth point on this list, and this goes more towards psychological problems, and that is avoid triggering situations for 30 days. Tell your friends you can't make it to their party. Tell your family that you can't be going out to eat every night. Tell yourself, don't watch the TV commercials flaunting the fact that you're addicted to the products they're selling. Isolate yourself if you can. 
and avoid situations that you know are going to remind you of the foods you're addicted to and trigger those cravings. Because once you're triggered, it's very hard to fix it from there and stop. Step number nine, stay hydrated and take electrolytes. Your body's going to be dumping water as you convert from a sugar metabolizer to a fat metabolizer, so stay hydrated. Don't drink too much water, but for God's sakes, drink whenever you're thirsty and water is best. And along with that, you're going to be losing electrolytes too, so make sure you take your electrolytes. And we've got many other videos about that. Stay hydrated. Take your electrolytes. Now, I saved this for number 10. This is the hardest part for most of you. And it's the hardest part because most of you are entering into this carnivore lifestyle with absolutely the wrong priorities. And that priority is to lose weight and become more attractive. Now, I understand that. I understand everybody wants to be thinner and prettier. And that's okay. Put that motive on hold for 30 days, can you? And I mean, this is so, so important. If you don't put that motive on hold, you will sabotage all your efforts. We've seen it over and over again. The main priority is not weight loss. The main priority is giving your metabolism an opportunity to return to its prioritized metabolic state of using fat for energy and not sugar. It's a sugar cleanse. When your body gets back to burning fat is when the magic starts. And that's when the weight loss and the healing begins. But you have to donate the time away from prioritizing those things to allow these metabolic pathways that have been dormant for most, if not all, of your life to start working again. And that takes at least 30 days. So for the first 30 days, hide your scale. Put it away. If you think you can't control yourself about having to get on the scale, give it to somebody to hold for you. Deny yourself access to your frigging scale. And this is easy to say, but for some reason, people can't do it. They're so focused on measuring their progress in some number which in the first 30 days of this lifestyle is absolutely meaningless and yet can depress the hell out of you if it's gone the wrong way. So if I'm not saying this strong enough to you, I don't know how else to put it. You may lose weight, you may not, you may gain weight. It makes no difference during the first 30 days of this journey that you're on to convert to a fat burning metabolism. After 30 days, get the scale out, weigh yourself, write it down, and that is your baseline to compare your progress from then on. But don't create your baseline weight until you've completed this little 30-day detox period that we're talking about. 
also at the end of 30 days, take your measurements and write them down. Your waist, your hips, your arms, your legs, you know how to do that. And that becomes your baseline to gauge your progress because that can also be frustrating for you down the road. You may not be losing weight, but the reason is that the diet isn't working. The reason is you're burning your fat and putting on muscle and it's not showing up on the scale, but that has just ruined so many people's confidence and enthusiasm in their diet. Don't concentrate so much on weight. And especially, especially in the 30 days. Well, there you have it. I hope that's not too much to keep in mind. You may or may not do all or any of these, but in my own personal experience and the experience of people that I've watched go through beginning a carnivore lifestyle, these, I think, are the most important 10 things to keep in mind. And we'll come back and revisit this at the end of January. And we'll see how well you all did and whether I was right or wrong about this stuff. And that's, that's how we learn, by doing and experiencing better than any randomized control trial. So with that, if not today, find a store that's open tomorrow. Today, clean out your kitchen. Tomorrow, go shopping. And then for the next 30 days, eat your little heart out. I don't care if you have to eat 6,000 calories a day. Do not let yourself get hungry. So I'll see you soon. Take the rest of the day off and eat meat. Thank <laughs> you.